hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and in this video guys we're going to learn how to use array as a function parameter so from the previous tutorials we already implemented functions that could take few parameters and then return a value based on the parameter that we have passed um, to the function now in this particular video guys we're going to learn how to pass the array as a function parameter and of course we already know how the array uh, works inside our C program we already implemented a simple program that demonstrates the capability of using array we already implemented a multi-dimensional array and even uh, iterated the content or the elements of our array now we could take that further by using a function and in this video guys i'm going to show you how you can sum up the values of your array and then we're going to use a function for that so as i've said we're going to pass the array as a function parameter so here inside our c program we could um, declare a new variable or a new array so so for example int and then my number array okay so my um, my number array is the name of our uh, array and then it should take in or has the size of say for example six so the number of elements is six right we could specify the values inside our curly braces now we could um, uh, specify the values 23 uh, 30 um, 21 um, 18 um, uh, let's say 17 one two three four five and another one for our last element say for example 25 so these are all the elements of our array and then we're we're going to sum up the value of this by using a function so what we can do here is to add a function above the main function or whatever we, we could also insert function right after the main function so for example uh, the function will return the total so it should say int this is the return type and then the name of our array so total value of array so this will be the name of our function total value of array so again this is the return type and this will represent the total value of the elements that we have here so total value of array and then of course we need to specify the um, argument or the parameters and because we're trying to sum up the value of our of our array we could um, specify that the first parameter is an array okay so, so for example int and then number array and uh, this is the first parameter and represents the my number array here okay and then we could also specify the size of the array so basically we have six here so we could say here int and then size and again this will represent the size of our my number array and of course we need to add curly braces inside and inside this function we could add the logic to add all the elements of our array and then return the sum or the total so we could say here int total equals zero okay that that's the initial value of our total variable and then we could um, try to iterate the elements of our array by using the for loop statement uh, statement the same uh, for loop that we have implemented from the previous tutorials okay so for loop so we could say here int i equals to zero 
and then i is less than the size of our array and then um, i plus plus and then inside the for loop we could say sum or total equals um, total plus the number array right there and then we could specify the index which is we're going to use i so this is the variable i that we have declared inside our for loop so number array and then the index i okay and of course guys this is the same uh, the same with this particular line we could write it with this particular um, line total equals our plus equals and then a number array and then of course specify the index of that particular number array so again this particular line is the same with this line all we are all we are doing here is trying to um, accumulate the total of our number array right here so after the total plus equals number array we could return the value of the total so by using the return statement and then of course the variable total okay okay so i think our function uh, our, our function total value of array is already set we could now call this particular function uh, inside our main function right here so basically for us to call that particular function all we have to do is use the name which is total value of array so total value of array right there and then open and close and then we're going to supply the parameters which is the first one is the array for the my number of uh, by my number array so my number array and then of course the second parameter is the size of the um, array which is six right there and then of course this particular function returns int which is the total we could uh, catch the value by using also int and then you could say here sum equals the return of this function that has the parameters array and the size of the array and then right after that one we could print the sum of all the elements so print f and then we could say here the total value is we could use the percent d and then backslash n and then comma and then of course specifying the sum variable okay and now we could um, compile and run our program so I think we have an error here because we use the comma so we need to remove that and compile and run again our program so it should say here the total value is 134 which is the total of this particular value uh, elements here from our my number array okay so we could also add function or i mean add element to this particular array so it should say uh, after 25 we could add like for example 50 and then another one um, 25 so basically the length of our array or the size of our array should be 8 because we already added two elements the 50 and 25 and of course we need also to change this particular uh, parameter here it should say also 8 okay so let's try to compile and run our program and as you can see here the value is now 205 okay so let me explain to you in details how this works so first we define the elements of our my number array and the size of this or the number of elements of this particular array is 8 right there and then right after that 
we call the function total value of array and then we pass in the my number array as the parameter and of course the second parameter is 8 which is the size of our number array now for the total value of array function as you can see here it takes two parameters the array and of course the size of the array and then inside here we uh, initialize and declare the total variable equal to zero and then we iterate the my number array or number array by using the for loop and then we use the i as the index variable so i equals to zero and then i is less than to the size that we have specified and then i plus plus and then of course uh, in order to get the total of the elements we're using total equals uh, total plus number array so basically this is the same with this line total plus equals number array and then specify the i index so so for example this particular i um, the value of i is zero then it's going to get the value 23 and then i value 1 it should get the 30 i value 2 is 21 i value um, 3 is 18 and so on so you get the idea and then of course after that we get the um, total value and then of course return that to this particular uh, variable sum and the last thing is we display that the total value is and then specify the sum of all the elements that we have from this um, number array okay so if you have questions guys please let me know in the comment section as always we will try to answer your questions and again guys thank you for watching and if you are new here in our youtube channel and you want content about programming so i am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload. So thank you for watching again guys and see you in the next video.